I want to show you how to use this easy setup tool within Promax and Excel and so this is, gives us an easy way to set up a scenario tool runs and so to illustrate this I've got an amine unit here with MDEA and piperazine set up and let's say I want to create some scenarios where we try different amine flow rates and different amounts of steams based on a steam ratio between our pounds of steam and gallons of amine and so I want to try these different or adjust these different variables and see how that affects my sweet gas that we have out of our absorber and so if I go back into Excel I'm gonna just click on this easy setup tool and that's gonna bring up this window and this essentially is a step-by-step -step guide to making a scenario and in the end it's gonna build our table and everything for us and so we don't need to do anything in Excel beforehand we're going to put all the information into this this easy setup tool and then it will generate our final table and run our scenarios for us okay so the very first thing I'll do is just name my scenario let's just call this our amine scenario and then when I click next as soon as I click next it's going to ask me to go find an input variable and so like I said let's change our amine flow rate which is stream number 19 so if I come find that here in my list and I'm looking for that standard liquid volumetric flow so I'll select that with that selected it's going to ask me to name that variable and this is the name that will appear in my table so I'm going to call this my amine flow rate we can see what units it will appear in and in gallons per minute is good and then this cell address is asking for a spot in Excel where it can list out all the different amine flow rates that we need and so this it's not the same as the final location it will end up in our table and I'll show you that a little later it just needs to have some empty space where it can write out all our different all our different flow rates and so right there is just fine the next thing we do is give it a starting value so I'm gonna say I want to run from 200 gallons to 220 gallons in steps of 10 we'll do a pretty small scenario here as an example but you can put whatever starting value and ending value you want with either a step size or you could have instead of putting a step size I could put in a count which would just say how many runs in between these starting and ending values once I have that all set up for my first input variable if I want to add more input variables I'm gonna click on this add button and when I click add it's going to then let me add a second variable and you can add as many input variables as you like in this case I'm going to change my steam ratio which is a ratio that controls how much steam goes to my reboiler and I've actually created a user value to model that okay and so my steam ratio when I grab my parameter that is now input for me here I'm gonna change the name to be my steam ratio and I'll do a start value of 1 and just go to 1.1 and just do a count of 2 meaning just two steps so we'll try a value of 1 and the, then a value of 1.1 1 .1. okay my gallons look good I can if I wanted to add more input variables I would click add again if I'm done with my input variables then instead I'll click next and once I click next it's going to now take me to output variables and so I can select the variables I want to report back in my scenario tool and so I'm going to just report back my H2S and my CO2 concentrations and my sweet gas and so if I open up my sweet gas here let's go find that in a mole fraction composition I'll grab H2S first I'm gonna name this variable my sweet gas H2S and units of ppm would be perfect if I have more output variables then I'll click add and we can now grab CO2 as my second output variable could name that my sweet gas CO2 and ppms is fine for that and again I can add as many of those variables as I'd like but once I'm done I'll just click finish and now that whole scenario has been generated for me so if I just go ahead and click run let's talk about what this has done for us you'll see here in Excel that it actually generated a second 
Excel sheet and that's where it's creating this table and so it created this sheet and labeled my columns for me according to those different variables that I asked for and then as it goes through these six runs it's going to print out here the different flow rates different steam ratios it uses and then my corresponding sweet gas compositions and it's going to go through each of those runs you'll see that it starts by just varying one variable at a time and so it's first varying my aiming flow rate and it'll keep my steam ratio the same and then once it's gotten through all my aiming flow rates it will then jump to the next steam ratio that it wants to use and then it will run through all my aiming flow rates again Okay. looking back on that first page as mentioned it just made a list of all the aiming flow rates and all the steam ratios that it wants to use and so this is what the scenario inputs are actually looking at are the values here but then it prints those out into our table back on this first page okay so that's what's really nice about this easy scenario tool is this sets up the table for us and it varies one variable at a time and so we can tell it all the inputs and the ranges that we would like to see for each input but then it generates that table for us and so we can just let it run from there and we are good to go and so I hope that video helps it's a really useful tool and as always if you have any questions about this uh, feel free to reach out and contact us at support at bre.com or you can give us a call at 979-776-5220 so thank you so much for watching